What's going on guys? My name is Dave and welcome to the TH Hanley channel and today we're going to be talking about the best facial hairstyles for men. Maybe you're just starting to grow a beard out for the first time or maybe you've had one for a while. You're looking to change things up, shake them up a little bit. Either way, this video is for you. We're going to cover the best facial hairstyles so you have some good options going into it. Let's get started. Now before we even talk about which facial hairstyles you should grow, you might be wondering, should I even grow a beard in the first place? Am I more attractive without one? Am I more attractive with one? What should I do? One simple thing you can do is split test. You can split test how you, how you do without a beard and split test how you do with a beard. Now this might mean like going out, like, like shaving one night, going out to the club, then growing out a beard and going out to the club the next week or two weeks after and see in which day do you get better results, with a beard or without it. It might be taking a picture with no beard and taking a picture with one and split testing them both on your online dating profiles. I know from my experience, girls generally prefer me with a beard rather than without. I feel a little bit naked without a beard as well, so I like to grow one, um, but everybody has sort of a different look. So you don't want to test this out for yourself and just see how you do. You can even split test with some of these different facial hairstyles that we're about to get into. Now the first facial hair type we'll talk about is long and natural. And this is exactly how it sounds. It's a little bit of a la James Harden, maybe a little bit of the Santa Claus beard kind of going on. Basically, you just let it grow. There's not really that much maintenance required. You don't really have to trim it. You just let it go. The one thing you will have to do is shave your neck hairs as well as the hairs on your cheek. But aside from that, you're good to go. One thing I'll say about this type of beard is it is pretty polarizing. Some girls are going to be really about it. Some girls are really not going to like it. So just keep that in mind. And there's good and bad things about being polarizing too. Like it's great for a girl to really like you. And at the same time, you're going to strike out with some girls right off the bat because they just don't like it. You also might have some awkward stages throughout growing this beard because Facial hair only grows at a rate of like around like 0.27 millimeters per day, so it, it might take a while to get it that big. Next up, we've got the light beard with the mustache. Now this one can go great after having a long and natural beard for a while. All you're gonna do is use an electric trimmer to shave the outsides of your beard down to a stubble and just leave the mustache and you have the look, you're good to go. You can also keep the sideburns or even a small soul patch if you wanna get crazy with it. Next up, we've got the short beard. And this is basically what I have. I basically just trim it every few days. I get it cleaned up when I, whenever I go to the barber. And it's pretty easy to maintain. I like it. The good thing about the short beard is it gives you a nice little middle ground. You're not going crazy all out where you, know, you get the Santa Claus beard going on, but you're not going with no facial hair either. Generally, if a girl likes you with no facial hair, she's gonna like you with a short beard and vice versa. That being said, it can be a nice little way to enhance your look, give you a nice little bit of an edge, and even make you look a little bit older, which women can find more attractive. Next up, we've got the heavy stubble. Now the heavy stubble is more or less like the five o'clock shadow, except with a little bit more thickness and depth. For this, you wanna make sure you keep your stubble well-groomed and trimmed. You don't want it to get too big because then it becomes a short beard, and you also wanna make sure your neck is trimmed as well. And actually, a 2016 study in the Journal of Evolutionary Biology showed that women actually prefer this look the most. They like guys, they like when guys have that short stubble, like that five o'clock shadow type of look. So if you're just getting started growing out your beard, this might be an easy one to kind of go for and see how you do. Next up, I know you guys have probably been waiting for this one, it's the handlebar mustache. Now this one has been making a comeback and it's not just with the guys out there driving Harleys and biker gangs. It's also getting pretty popular with the hipster crowd. The way you do it is you basically shave your entire face except your, your mustache and you leave the sides of it as long as possible. Then you wanna use a little beer balm or wax, apply it to your mustache and curl up the ends of it like that. Now keep in mind, to do this, you are gonna to have to cleanly shave the rest of your face around it. So when you're doing this, make sure to use a clean blade. You also wanna use quality products, quality shaving cream, that type of stuff and shave with the grain instead of going against it so you don't hurt your skin. All of this is gonna prevent razor burn and bumps, which you definitely don't want. And finally, we've got the goatee. And this is a classic look that can actually be worn in two different ways. The first way is a chin beard with a mustache that connects around the mouth. You can also have a slightly longer and thicker mustache with a non-expanding chin strap that goes around the sides of your mouth. Or you can have a slightly longer, thicker mustache with almost a non-expanding chin strap that doesn't go past the width of your mouth. Either choice is good and can look especially good if you have a little bit of gray hair there. 
Now guys, no matter what facial hairstyle you end up going with, it's super important that you keep on taking care of the beard and the skin below your beard. Just because you have a beard there, just because you have some hair, doesn't mean you can neglect that skin. To avoid beard dandruff, you want to make sure that the skin underneath your beard is healthy, it's moisturized, and in order to do that, you want to use uh, at least a moisturizer every morning and every night, and you want to make sure you're using a twice a week exfoliating scrub, as well as a face wash, and that's what I do every single day you know, with my favorite T. Chanley products. Because guys, having a great beard is going to be pointless if the skin around it and underneath it isn't clean, clear, and acne free. So yeah guys, go out there and start growing your beard. Actually, you know what? Drop us a comment below. Let us know what style you like the best. What style are you going to go with? Now, if you want to see more videos from T. Chanley, you can check out this playlist over here. And if you want to check out more of T. Chanley's products, you can check this out over here. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.